everybody. It's Friday, time for Facebook Live. And today is January 31st. Is this not feel like the longest month ever? January is always long, long and dreary, I know. But today's the last day and tomorrow is February 1st. So we are um, doing more Valentine things today because I know you guys are in need of some Valentine things. Um, if you're watching in the replay, hello to you as well. All right, I see some of you jumping on. Excellent, good. Let's see, make sure I can find myself. I suddenly am feeling like I have something in my eye. Um, let's see, all right, it looks like we're there. I can see you guys. Okay, well, I have lots to tell you. First, I wanna mention that I, um, my friend Rhonda Wade and I are doing a weekend retreat next month, February, and we have, um, been promising that we would offer those retreat boxes to go and we have listed them today um i predict they'll sell out by the end of the day they're um two-thirds gone already um but if you want a retreat to go you need to go and look on my blog the post before the facebook friday post um, or check your email and look for that link um, because we only have a limited number that we can physically <laughs> handle um and so that's it when those are gone that's it now there's a second part to that um, when you register for the retreat you'll see some optional classes um one of mine i'm going to show you in a minute is the honeybee class and i am going to offer that as a just a standalone to go class like we normally do um so you guys will see that in a minute i'll flip the camera and show you i haven't actually listed it uh yet um, but it's open for registration. So I just didn't want to list the retreat and that at the same time because it would be confusing. But if you don't really have interest in the retreat to go, but you are interested in that honeybee class, um, don't worry, it's available. And I, I'm i gonna offer some other things. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I have to get it all you know, spread out so that I don't overextend myself, but there's gonna be some other things coming um, for February as well. Okay, so today, three Valentine cards right here. And I have been saying that if you don't do Valentine cards, which I did a poll last week asking you guys, and about two thirds of you said yes, but there's a third of you that say no. Um, don't worry, I have looked at these and when I designed them, I was, cause I don't really do Valentine cards either. Um, I give them to my husband and maybe my kids and that's it. Um, but, um, looked at these thinking what else could we use them for how else could we use them and um they could be wedding cards they could be you know a girlfriend card like hey i love you so much my you're my best friend things like that so just you know remember you can always change the sentiment always to make a card fit the event or occasion that you need so that's what we're going to do today three cards um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and you will find, I just went up right now, a post for all of today's projects. And under the third photo, there's a link to the PDF. Here it is, right here. It has all the products as well as all those measurements that you need. Then if you look on the back page, there are direct links to the things that I'm getting ready to tell you about, okay? Um, so it's all over there. You should be able to find it. Now, I offer these make and takes for free. If you um, want them, you, all you have to do is put in a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight. There is a host code attached to it. There's, It's listed on the PDF, it's listed on the blog post, and when I turn the camera around today, you'll see it as well. Um, so the deadline for those are Monday at midnight, okay? Okay, oh, and this is what the they look like when they come. All right, I think, is this last week's? Yeah, no, this isn't last week's. That was when we did the kickoff. Here's last week's make and takes. All right, you can see I do a lot of cutting, prepping for you, um, scoring, and I always send a thank you tag and then the link right there for the video when you get it. So then you have these little project kits that you can do on a Friday night or a Saturday morning when you're sitting down to stamp and they're absolutely free. You order yourself the supplies or whatever you want. It doesn't have to even be what the supplies that I'm showing you, um, but I send you these as a thank you. All right, and so you can see I have lots of them. I have, I always cut one or two extras just in case they get lost in the mail. And I have boxes of these so what do you guys think about me doing like a grab bag for these? Maybe like 
four or five Facebook Friday packs for whatever, however much. Would, would you guys be interested in that? I, I hate to throw them away um, because hello, there are kits, but let me know what you guys think if you would be interested in, in maybe like a grab bag of past Facebook Friday projects, make and takes. Okay, um, let's see, I have so much to tell you. Let's do, let's do door prizes. Last week, um, I said I had two six by six designer series paper, um, shares from spring catalog as well as ribbon share and i was going to pick two people who shared the video and those people are it's backwards <laughs> janice van howling i hope i spelled your name right janice and donna mcclellan i don't believe i have either of your mailing addresses so please message me you have two weeks okay two weeks to email or message me on facebook and i will send these out to you congratulations ladies this week I just got these yesterday. I'm giving, I love this, and I thought this was a good prize for today. Um, this stamp set, Music from the Heart. This is Don Olszewski's Million Dollar Stamp Set. It's a great stamp set. Um, so I will give these away next week to two people who share the video, okay? I'm seeing all your comments go by and I'm like wanting to read them, but then I cannot even complete a thought. <laughs> I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back and read them, I promise. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to turn the, I'm going to go ahead and turn um, the camera around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you guys know I don't have anything fancy. Hey, by the way, you guys, have, are you following me on Instagram? I have made it my 2020 goal to really step it up over there on Instagram. Instagram is fun because you can just do like fun, like, you know, quick things. It doesn't require you to edit your pictures. And so, this week, my downline Alessandra, I don't know if she's here, she asked me about it last week and I was like, I'm so glad you asked me because that's my goal. So she kind of lit a fire under me and I have been posting in my stories all week. It's kind of fun and it's kind of starting to, I'm obsessing about it. What else can I post? So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, hop over there, it's uh, Pink Buckaroo, you'll find me and follow me. Um, I posted pictures of, of how I prepped for this today. I posted this week um, how I prepped for my class to go, things like that. It's just kind of like an inside look. And the reason why I made it my goal is because I love watching stories of other people um, while I'm getting ready in the morning, while I'm cutting, whatever. And they just kind of play in a loop. And it's just you get little sneak peeks behind the scenes of people's life. It's fun. Lisa, yes, thank you for the love, Lisa. You've been so sweet over there on Instagram um, liking my story. So thank you, Lisa. Okay, so anyway, little snippet. All right, I'm going to turn you guys around. Let's see if I can do this without you seeing up my nose <laughs> or seeing my shoes. I think we got it. But don't look yet. It's still going to be wiggly while I get it in this holder. Another one of my goals needs to be to find, to, to master the professional video software where I just, you know, smoothly switch it over. <sighs> I can't do everything. Okay, here is the class to go. This is the Honeybee class. Like I said, I haven't posted it yet on my blog, but registration is open. If you want this class, the link is right here on the PDF today, and you can go ahead and register. I'm going to list it on my blog as soon as the um, retreat has sold out, okay, um, just to avoid confusion. But the Honeybee class is six projects, and four of them are 3D um, that I went and found things that are honey, so peanut butter and honey crackers. Um, this one is Burt's Bees, Lavender Honey, just little things to go with um, the honey bee theme, right? And then there's two cards, one of which is a shaker. So cute, right? And of course, my classes always have two options. With the bundle right here um, is 59 and you're getting the ribbon for free when you do that bundle. You're getting a celebration item and you're getting a quarter pack of the paper. Um, the second option is you already have the bundle. You don't need the bundle, but you want everything else. That's $30. PDF only is 15 And then... Um, my team, the Sweet Stampede, gets them for $16 this month, okay? Um, so you can follow that link. I've already recorded the more detailed video and I have the blog post ready, it's coming. So um, if you need more details, hold on, it's coming, I promise, okay? Now if you are registering for the retreat to go, this is an add-on class that you can add on to your retreat, okay? Okay, all right, that's that. 
Um, let's talk real quickly about the All Star Tutorial Bundle. Tomorrow, February 1st, starts our brand new subscription period. The All Star Tutorial Bundle is a giant PDF of 12 different um, tutorials by 12 different amazing Stampin' Up! demonstrators, if I do say so myself. And we all do an exclusive project in here every month. Um, and you can get this for free by spending uh, $50 in my online store. Um, you know, just stamping up.com. Um, you can buy it for $15 in my PDF store, or you can subscribe. And the subscription for the new round, which begins tomorrow, is open. And it, when you subscribe, you get the fifth month for free. So you only pay for four and you get the fifth one for free. Um, you can subscribe by paying month to month, um, where you pay $15 a month, or you can buy it all up front and, and then all five will be delivered to your inbox on the first of every month, okay? That's that. Again, those details are right here on today's PDF as well. This is last month. I haven't printed out this month yet. Um, okay, let's talk about the starter kit. Let me remind you, you guys, I have added so many people to my team since Celebration started because it's a fantastic deal. Um, during Celebration for $99, you get $125 of product that you want, your choice. I've made a little sample basket here. This is not exactly what yours will look like because I don't know what you want. Um, you get $125 in product. You get an extra stamp set, which I say, pick the most expensive stamp set. Hello for your free stamp set. You get the adorable baby, little baby trimmer, and you get a sample pack of designer series paper and a paper pumpkin kit, a past paper pumpkin kit and free shipping. I need to put a paper pumpkin and kit in here too so you can visually see how amazing it is. All of that for $99. Heather says best team ever. Thank you, Heather. Heather's one of my downline who just promoted to Silver Elite. She's doing awesome. She's got an awesome team of her own too. Um, so anyways, this is a little sample uh, maybe of a starter kit that I, that I might choose if I was buying the starter kit. I really like the Under My Umbrella and the Timeless Tulips bundle, so I put those in there. A pack of Whisper White paper, because you always need Whisper White. Um, a, just a pack of Brights designer series paper. Um, some watercolor pencils to color those. A uh, Memento Black, or stays on black if you're going to use watercolor pencils probably. Well, yeah. Either one. And then this is my free stamp set I chose, well said. It's a very pricey stamp set. So I, of course I chose it. And then oh, my favorite little tiny baby mini trimmer. Okay, so that information again on today's PDF, on my blog. Message me if you have questions. There's lots of bonus um, benefits when you buy the starter kit like a, you get all my uh, PDFs for free. Um, B, you get my class kits significantly discounted. You get a 20% discount on Stampin' Up! All your Stampin' Up! purchases. Um, you get to be a part of my team, which we do prizes, we do challenges, we have monthly meetings. It's it, There's a lot of benefits. So make sure you jump over and check that out on my blog, all right? Okay. Let's talk about coordination products. What time is it? Okay, I'm gonna just take five minutes to go over this. Um, I did a big blog post about it. I sent an email out about it, but I wanna talk to you guys about it. Coordination product release is coming on Tuesday. And coordination products are mm, five die sets that coordinate with current stamp sets, either in the spring catalog or the celebration catalog. And the sixth product is a new pack of paper that coordinates with four of our punches. Now, if you hop back a couple of posts on my blog, you'll find this, so you can zoom in and look at it. Um, it there's also a visual like this, but I thought I would just kind of scroll through, I'm not scroll, we're not looking online, I would just flip through my <laughs> things that I've made and show you um, what is available. Let me show you the paper first. This is to die for paper. I've already started designing my Easter class and it's gonna use this paper, so stay tuned. That's coming at, towards the end of the month. The, I will list that one. Um, but this is called, um, oh, Please Does Punch. Suddenly I can't remember. Yeah, Please Does Punch Designer Series Paper. You can see this matches the heart punch. And then there's this adorable little gingham on the back. This matches that umbrella punch. And on the back are some cute raindrops. This matches the celebration punch, uh, the flower punch that's in the celebration catalog. On the back is my favorite, look at that, rainbow 
gorgeous. And then there's one other one that coordinates with a tulip punch and then a great green to go on the back of that. All right, so this paper is stunning. Now, remember you guys, when we do things like this out of publication releases, it's while well supplies last. You have to remember that. Um, last year, if you were around and you were a Stampin' Up! customer or demonstrator last year, during this time we had a set a release like this and some of it sold out quickly. Super, super, super quickly, okay? So if you want it, make sure you're ready on Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think you'll be fine. But if you wait a month or so, I cannot um, guarantee that this stuff will be there, okay? All right, so let me show you some of the cards that I made. Uh, you've probably seen this one. I've shared this one. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a Facebook Live next Tuesday. Um, Tuesday at noon central a special Facebook Live to uh, play with some of this, okay? So here's that one. And that has the new die, actually. I'm gonna hold that off to so show you that die in a minute. Here's one that has the, the umbrella. Look, I put crystal effects to make the drops shimmery. And then here's one with the hearts. And here's the one with the tulips. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. All punched all punched from that paper. And then here's one with that rainbow paper again with the uh, uh, little flowers. Aren't they so cute? So, so cute. Okay, so there's that. Um, this one was the one, well, no, let's see. Here's the, the uh, dies. You know, I'm gonna have to look at the list because I can never remember their names. This is a celebration. Um, my camera is super high too. Let me turn that down a little bit. Um, this is a celebration stamp set. You get this free with a $50 order, right, from the celebration catalog. This is the new coordination product. They're dies that coordinate with this one. These are called sending flowers dies, okay? And they are, oh, I don't have that right here. Where'd it go? $27 for that set, okay? And so here's the card. You can see I use these right here to cut out the flowers in different colors and then I put them. And then it has cute little banners, two cute banners. And you can use your sentiments with that, okay? So there's the first one. Then um, the ladybug, darn it, and I keep forgetting to pull those ladybug cards. I have a really cute ladybug card. And I, do, oh, here it, is. here it is. Okay, let me grab it. Hold on. This, um, the Ladybug stamp set is free with a, this is like a host set. Um, now you don't have to host a workshop. It just means you get it free with a um, $300 order, okay? And it's totally free. And so then there's the Ladybug dies that coordinate with it. Here are two cards that I've done with the Ladybug. Look how cute he is, popped up and cut out. All right, so there's that. And then this was the one I was the most excited about. The Special Someone stamp set is in the spring catalog. And these are called Special Day dies. Special Someone Special Days. I love the grass. <laughs> I love the grass. And then this is going to be, mm, do I want to show you guys? This is going to be next week's Facebook Friday. And I don't want to show you all the projects because we're going to make them next week on Facebook Friday. A little sneak peek, okay? All right, so next Friday. That's that. And then the cake. This is the celebration stamp set, free in the celebration catalog. The dies are called da, 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 birthday dies. Hello. <laughs> That's easy to remember, Erica. Birthday dies, you can see it cuts the cake out, gives you a cake stand. Um, and I think this is going to be the next Facebook Friday. I love these two. I've got several of these. Um, you can cut those flowers out because there's a flower die right there. This one I haven't finished yet. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This one is a swap card. And that one I just did with different colors. All right. So see how the dies cut out the, the birthday cake. So if you have gotten this already as your free, uh, celebration item. Now you can get the dies to go with it. And the last one is positive thoughts. And I have to tell you, this was like a sleeper. I didn't even notice it in the catalog until I saw the dies. And I was like, where's that stamp set? And then I looked at it. It's gorgeous. Um, this <clears throat> also has, it cuts out all the little things, of course, but it also has this really cool um, embossed Oh, is it embossed or is it cut? Yeah, embossed frame and then an embossed uh, feather too. And I've made one card with it, which I posted earlier in the week. So very cool, right? 
Very cool. Yes, uh, Christine, you brought up a good point. The February paper pumpkin that comes out next month is going to coordinate with a happy birthday. Co correct. Thank you for reminding us. Okay. Awesome. I love when they coordinate the paper pumpkins. Okay. So that is the coordination product release. I didn't really have a good name, I don't think. We need a fancier name than that. Coordination products. They will be released on Tuesday to everybody. Okay. So start thinking about what you want, what you're going to get, and make sure you're ready to order because I can't guarantee that they will be there for very long. I don't know. I mean, I have no insider information. I'm just saying, um, based on <laughs> past promotions, things sell out quickly. All right, so here's today. We're doing Valentine cards. You guys ready to stamp? My goodness, I've talked for 22 minutes. That's a really long time. Um, let's see, Christine, what else does she say? All, also, those dies and stamps that the last one is carrying over to the annual catalog. Thank you, Christine. And the last one, oh, the one with the feather. The, that will be carrying over in the annual catalog. You're right. You know what? I saw that information, and it just, like, went in one ear and out the other, and I forgot. Thank you for reminding us. All right, so here we go. We're ready to stamp. Remember, hop over to Pink Buckaroo. You'll get... Um, PDF under the third photo has all the products and any measurements that you need because I'm not probably not going to be shouting out measurements to you and, and then you would just oh, because you're just going to write it on a post-it note and lose it am I right I know I'm not the only one who writes things on a post-it note and then totally loses it I do it all the time it drives me crazy I have started is that too low that feels low yep let's go up higher is that too high there's an eight second delay guys so I have to I have to wait Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, I've started where I have notebooks of stuff, um, which helps. But anyway, I've put on a PDF for you, so you don't have to do that. <laughs> All right, let's stamp. We're going to do the easiest one first. This is a fancy fold, and it totally says Happy Valentine's Day, right? So if you wanted to change it to a non-Valentine's Day card, all you have to do is not stamp this. You could leave this, this heart plain. You could um, do like love you lots and do it in a circle and put it over on the side. But we're going to make it a Valentine card, okay? And see how it opens? It's like a, a Z fold. Like the easiest fancy fold you can make. It features this heartfelt stamp set. The I just refer to it as the Valentine stamp set in the spring catalog. We're also going to use these punch packs, these big punches. And we're going to punch everything out. All right, okay, now let's see. Let me get organized here. The first thing you're gonna need to do is to cut your card base. And this is a half sheet of cardstock, real red. See, it was like tall like this. And I turned it and I cut it at five and a half. Normally, my cards, I like to cut my cards so they open like this, tall. And I'll tell you why, because they photograph better. <laughs> 10 years ago when I started doing this and I was blogging, I realized that I I thought I think a card photographs better if it has a hinge on the top. So now I just naturally make all my cards with a hinge at the top. But it doesn't have to be that way. It can it can open like this, like you would buy at the grocery store or Hallmark or whatever, right? A, a regular card. So that's basically what we've done. We've just done a half of a card, um, a half of a card stock, scored it or folded it in half. But I also scored it right here at two and, well, let me look at my notes. I don't wanna tell you the wrong thing. Two and an eighth, four and a fourth, two and an eighth. So then when you fold this over and then you can fold this one back, okay? See how that, it's just a normal card base where we've put a score line down the middle and we're folding that back. I mean, come on, super easy. Nothing fancy, not difficult at all. Now I've cut a piece of this gorgeous paper, the From My Heart Designer Series paper. You could use any pattern that makes you happy. They all coordinate with real red cardstock. And I'm gonna put that there on the front panel. Then on the inside, I've got that Whisper White. And I'm not gonna stamp anything on this Whisper White. That's where you can write your little love note. And I'm gonna put that right there inside. All right, now let's stamp our um, hearts. Now, <laughs> cross your fingers. When you have a large photopolymer stamp, sometimes when you stamp it, you get like a bubble down here. 
It never happens to me until I'm doing a video. <laughs> so it's going to happen probably. The thing to do, and I didn't get it out, the, the thing to do if you're having that problem is to get a foam mat. Um, you can use our piercing mat. You can also use fun foam from the craft store and put it under that and it totally will solve your problem, okay? So let's see if I'm just rolling the dice without my foam mat. When I work, when I'm stamping, I stamp over there on a different surface and I don't have that problem. All right, see, I called it out so it wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, so real red on that one and then we're gonna do real red, we'll do it over here on this side like this. Ooh, I can tell that's gonna be a bubble in the middle, but you know what, this one doesn't matter because we're gonna cover it up. Yeah, see, I need the foam mat for that one for sure. All right, so that's all you're gonna do. Now, if you are going to, if you don't want this to be a Valentine card, don't stamp that heart that says Happy Valentine's. See, this is the scalloped heart, so it punched that out. And then this is the solid heart. They come together um, when you order them. They are a, a couple. <laughs> they are a package deal. All right, so we've done that. We've punched those out. Um, so if you're going to make this not a Valentine's card, don't do this. Stamp something else, punch it out in a circle, put it in the middle, over to the side. You could put, you know, across there, whatever. It doesn't have to be a Valentine's card. But this is going to be Valentine's card. Now, this is a stitched Whisper White Square. I use the stitched um, shape dies. This is not the largest. It's the second largest. And I'm going to use all the dimensionals I can on this card because that's how I roll. Now I've put another dimensional there and I'm gonna put this right on top. So we've got a layered card. And now, guess what? More dimensionals. This is a Flirty Flamingo scalloped square. Um, it is not the largest, I believe it's the second largest, but you just want it big enough to frame your Whisper White stitched square. This feels like cheating, this card is so simple. I feel like I'm not showing you something difficult, but totally cheating. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna fold my front part of my Z in like that, and I'm gonna put two more dimensionals right there, and then I'm gonna lay this right in the center, okay? So that, see how it's hanging off? And now when you open it, it does like that, okay? Now, we're not done. I mean, you could be done, but we have so many fun embellishments. Why would you be done? I'm gonna take my Whisper White twine, fold it in half. This is how I do a double bow. Fold it in half, and I'm just gonna treat it like it's one piece, all right? I'm gonna tie it like a bow as just one piece, but look, it's actually two. It's very scientific and fancy. <laughs> All right, now, glue dots. I don't remember, where did I put this? Oh yeah. I made this card back before Christmas. This was one of the first things I made with my pre-order. Um, when, when you're a demonstrator, you get to order from the catalog a whole month early. And this was like, I think maybe the very first thing that I made, this card. Put that right there. And now I thought, you know what? You need a little bling. These are the Frosted and Clear Epoxy Droplets. I can never remember that name. Um, they are bigger than sequins. They're a little bit different than sequins. And you can use the Frosted or, is that what I used? Yeah, okay, suddenly they look like rhinestones. You can use the Frosted or the Shiny, whichever you want. And we're gonna put, let's just do two. Now, if I if you get these make and takes in the mail from me next week for free, and if I send you rhinestones, don't be furious because this is all I have. Um, unless I can find some in my drawer. <laughs> I meant to order some extras and I did not. But rhinestones would be the same too. And voila, the easiest Facebook Friday card I have ever done. So easy and cute. That would be good for kids, right? That would be good for... Anybody, anybody, awesome. All right, um, Lisa, do I plan that far in advance? Um, not for Facebook Friday, but I do 
So I planned this for a training for my downline, this card. I used it for that. Um, and then, are you guys okay? That was weird. Are you guys all right? Let's see. Oh, wait, I'm putting you up. Can you guys see me? Am I upside down? What's happening? What's happening? Rotate your phone. Facebook is freaking out. Are you guys okay? That was super weird. It almost hit me. It flipped out of the holder. Oh my gosh. That was very dramatic for a Facebook Friday. And you know what? I locked the dogs up today. There's going to be no barking, but yet we have cameras flipping out. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. We've had our fun. No, I do not plan that far ahead of time uh, for Facebook Friday, but I do plan at least a month ahead of time for most things. Um, I have to. It is very hard to do Valentine's Day before Christmas. It's hard to do Halloween in, Aug in August, right? It's hard to do Christmas in September. It's very hard. But I have to have them prepared for you guys so that you have plenty of time to prepare them for you. Okay, good. Trisha, you're still there. Whew. That was very stressful. All right. Glad you guys didn't hurt yourself when you fell down on the table. All right. Number two is a shaker card today. I'm not sure I can recover from that. Is it too early to have a margarita today? My goodness. Okay, shaker. Oh, I was going to show you guys. Um, last week when I was cutting for um, your, well, for the make and takes. Remember last week we used this die? Oh, what did I do with it? Did I not pull it out? Oh, great. I'm going to have to go pull it out. Remember we used this die um, last week for the projects. What did I do with it? Did I put it away? Surely I did not put it away. Um... And I, okay, so I cut all of those out. I'm going to talk to you from across the room while I'm looking for that die because I have no idea what I did with it. Huh. Oh, here it is. Okay, this die right here. Can you tell I didn't pre-record today? I usually do a clean recording of everything so that we have clean videos later. Um, and I didn't do that today, so I'm a mess. Anyways, um, this is the die that I'm talking about. We used it last week. Um, and I cut them all out to send out Facebook Friday. And then I had all of these left. All of these. And I, I mean, that's hundreds of hearts. And I, could, I couldn't throw them away. So they've been sitting on my desk. And I had already made this card. Many of you suggested when I posted this on, on Instagram, you suggested a shaker. So I'm going to just say, thank you. Look, you gave me the idea. Not really, I already had it done. But yes, shaker or, you know, put them in. The, so when you send your Valentine's cards, put some of these in the envelopes. And when they take their card out, hearts go all over the floor. Okay, so the shaker card, we are using the heart to heart stamp set. This is on the next page after the, um, <laughs> Lacey, it's five o'clock somewhere for sure. Um, it's been that kind of week. My gosh, it's been that kind of week. Um, and I am not a big drinker, but I did have a glass of wine midweek. Yeah, it's been that kind of week. Um, this is on the page after the big Valentine spread in the spring catalog. And so you kind of can miss it. Um, it's a beautiful stamp set, um, but I like the, uh, it says you make my life better, right? So if you put that on there, that could be for a best friend. Um, our hearts are meant to be together. That could be for your husband, your spouse, your wife, whoever. Um, wishing you love and laughter forever and after a wedding card. So, and then it has the happy Valentine's Day, which is what I did there. But we're going to do a different sentiment on this one because I don't need more than one of these that says happy Valentine's Day. So we're going to use, we're going to use the wedding one, okay? Okay, so let's get started. Also, you'll notice... That gorgeous Golden Honey Designer Series paper, that is a free celebration item. I can't, I'm embarrassed to tell you how many I have. <laughs> I keep ordering packs of them because I love them. I'm a little bit obsessed with this paper. So black and white on one side and the other side is gold, has gold um, accents on it. All right, so this is just a basic black card base four by five and a fourth piece of designer series paper. Again, you could use any of that golden honey paper. 
put that there. We're gonna do something to the inside because when you have a bl black card base, you can't write in it, right? Unless you've got maybe a white gel pen. You can always cut just a piece of Whisper White and put inside, um, but we're gonna do, we're gonna stamp on that as well. And I don't know why I have two here. Hmm. I'm forgetting something probably. Okay, now look, I have already cut. You're gonna need to cut. Oh, that's what it is, that's what it's for. <laughs> that's what it's for, the hearts, Erica. I've already cut, no, no, we don't need white hearts. We need gold hearts, right? I don't have any white hearts in there, yeah. Oh, I know what it's for. Okay, I've cut a bunch of um, blushing bride hearts. I've cut a bunch of, that almost sounded like I said something else. <laughs> um, I've cut a bunch of flirty flamingo hearts and now I'm going to cut a bunch of gold hearts and I showed you guys last week my cheater method. Kathy you've got two packs of that paper and more to come. I know right you know I think um, everybody just needs like a stash of black and white paper for all year long. Black and white paper is just I mean you need it right and yeah stocking up during celebration is perfect because it's free all right so i'm going to cut this from gold foil that's one of our papers our special papers in the catalog we have gold foil silver foil champagne foil black foil i'm missing one what am i missing i can't remember all right so i put that dryer sheet down and that just helps me like take that die out i don't have to worry about all those things flying around um and then we can just take this off and you probably want to save this part because it's too gorgeous. It's too, too gorgeous to throw away because now we're just going to use these and I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it over here. Now this bigger piece, I remembered what I'm going to do. I need to cut a little frame. So I've got one of my um, square layering square dies. Let's measure it and see which one it is. It is um, two, oh, well, it's not even, it's about two and three eighths. Yeah, two and three eighths, okay? So two and three eighths, and then the scallop is just the one right above it, which is about two and three fourths. And we're gonna cut just a little frame, and you can fit them in there together. It's a tight fit, but it'll work. Run it through. And what time is it? Okay, I'm good. I think I have school pickup. All right, and see, that's what we did. We got a, we made a frame. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna do one more thing before we get rid of the die cut machine. This is the front paper of our shaker and it measures, it's on the sheet, it measures three-fourths by Oh, three fourths by four. Now I'm gonna take that same square die that I used just a minute ago and I'm going to put it towards the top, leaving about a half inch border all the way around. And run it through, and there we go. It's like a Polaroid, right? A little Polaroid. So we'll set that over there, and I think that's all we need to die cut. Now, oh, you know what else we need that I didn't grab is our foam adhesive sheets. All right, let's get all of our pieces here. What is this for? Why do I have all these random things? I don't know. Oh, maybe that was, who knows? I don't know. I'm talking to myself. Okay, so now let's bring this back over and let me grab the foam adhesive sheets. Have you guys used these foam adhesive sheets before? They're perfect. They're like big, long dimensionals. And um, they're a little bit, thicker than dimensionals, a little bit higher. And we're gonna, oops, you know what, put that down. First, we've gotta put the window window sheet down. Window sheet, my window sheet's a tad too big. Window sheet is another little specialty paper that we carry. It's on the same page as um, the foils. And you need to cut your window sheet, it looks like maybe about three and an eighth by three and a fourth. And we're gonna glue that down. Of course, I've got all kinds of fuzz on mine, so let me wipe all that off. We're gonna glue that down right there. So let's get our glue. I'm gonna use Tombow. It does look like a Polaroid Lisa. And I'm just gonna put some dots. Okay. And 
lay that down like that. So we've sealed that down flat. Now we're going to take that long foam adhesive um, strip, and I think I'm going to do this differently today. I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it right at the bottom edge of the window. I don't want to go too far down under the window. Oh, I'm moving that window sheet because then my things might go down too low and you won't really be able to see them. Let your glue dry before you do this, okay? So see how I did that? There's one. I cannot believe that bone popped off that holder. I still am thinking about that. I need a blooper reel. Okay, so we've got one there. Now we're just making a, a little holder, really. So we've got to make sure that they, there's not, they can't ex escape. Okay, we're making a little cage for our hearts. All right, so there we go. Now I've got to get one more. And let's see. Hopefully I cut that long enough. Luckily these hearts are pretty big. They're not gonna, they're not gonna escape like glitter would. Glitter, you have to really make sure that you don't have any holes in your enclosure. <laughs> all right, so now I've got all those in there. Can you guys see what I've done? Here's the front. Oh, I didn't stamp it. Mm, all right, well, we're gonna do it. There's no going back now. I didn't stamp it. Um, make sure you stamp your Polaroid piece first. That's the lesson learned. Now I'm gonna take my gold hearts and I'm gonna place them so that the gold is looking out. Um, the others you can just sprinkle in here, you don't have to worry about it. But because these are white on the back side, I don't want them, I don't want the white side showing. So I'm just gonna take some, and I'm not using all of them, I'm just using some. You can use as many or as few as you want. If you're making several, you might, you want to use less so you don't have to cut so many. Okay, oh, well, let's do one more. Then I'm gonna take my pinks, just kind of spread them around like that, maybe a few more. And then very carefully, I'm gonna, oh, Deb, your dog ate your strips. Those darn dogs. Man, I know, oops. My mom, you guys know, has a new puppy, a corgi, and she is eating everything. She is a chewer. My dogs ate a protein bar last week, and it scared me because it was like a, you know, like a diet protein bar, and I was worried it had that poisonous stuff in it, that stuff that starts with an X, zithral, but it did not. It had chocolate, and they were fine. I don't know, stupid dogs. All right, so I've got them all in there. I've taken all the adhesive backing off and I'm gonna take a little piece of Whisper White that's three by three and I'm gonna set it right there, okay? And push it down and there's your shaker. So fun, right? And easy, not complicated, not crazy, easy. All right, now you could put anything in there. You could put glitter, you could put, um, rhinestone I mean whatever the little I made a shaker card for my B class with those um, Valentine shaker things anything all right now you guys are gonna watch me try to stamp this when I already had you know it's it's not gonna stamp right you know what I need what if I'm I need to make it even hmm let's see that might help all right, well, we're gonna do it and we're gonna, no, I don't think that's gonna help. We're gonna do it and see. Stamp before, before you do this, okay? Make sure you stamp first. All right, here we go. What I should do is set up the Stamparatus. Hey, not bad, it's crooked, but hey, at least it's stamped. Oh my, 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 that kind of day. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna pretend like it's perfect. And you know what, you guys, if you screw up, get a piece of white and make a little banner or a little flag or something. You can always cover it up. Just learn from my mistakes, please. Please, please, please. All right, fine tip glue. It's missing, I don't know, it's not in my basket. So we're gonna just barely put teeny, teeny, tiny little dots all the way around. I can see that there's like um, fibers and like the clingers inside my <laughs> shaker like 
little dust fibers. I when you do this, take a dryer sheet and clean off your your um, window sheet before. That way you won't have all those hang-ons. Probably when I wiped it with my shirt to clean it, it grabbed some, some fibers. All right, see the cute little frame that I just did around the window? Isn't that adorable? So cute. All right, let's see, card base, card base, some adhesive, and I'm gonna do it crooked. I'm gonna do it kind of wonky. Maybe that'll make you not notice that the sentiment is wonky and crooked. All right, look, I love it so much. Now, twine, hmm, is it in the other basket? Yes. We'll do another double bow. Catherine, I should have used my phone mount. I just don't know where it's at. I have to go dig around for it, and I've already had to dig around for several things today. Oh, well. Yeah, that, I don't know, I think that would have been too thick, though. It's a little too thick. It worked. <laughs> If I just, just stamped it straight, it would have been fine. All right, now glue dot, twine, and we are done with the outside. But I told you we were going to do something on the inside to step it up a little bit. See here how I've stamped things down the side? That's some uh, of this. I'm going to have all kinds of extra pieces today. Um, those are stamps from the stamp set that goes with the die. It's called Heart to Heart. And... I'm going to stamp them. I'm going to stick with a color scheme. I'm going to do um, my memento black. Let me move up here. I don't know why I'm like totally out of the frame today. Like that. Did I use, I think I used this one some too. The little one. I like the dramaticness of it in black. And then maybe we'll do... Let's see, I need a little bit of scrap paper. We'll do this right there. All right, so there we've got that. Now, I've got the little heart stamps. So let's stamp them in Flirty Flamingo. And um, Blushing Bride. And then I'm gonna take just a few of those gold hearts that I cut out a minute ago and glue those on. All right, let's close the ink because we've had enough disasters today. Nathan, you're popping in and out. Nathan, you have to make sure you go and watch when the camera flies off the, the holder. It's one of my most shining moments so far. All right, we need a couple of gold hearts and more glue. So let's put one here. Oh, that's a big dot, Erica. Come on. Heavy hand. And grab this, turn it over, and we'll put that right there and that giant dot of glue. And we've got this one that goes here, and this one that goes here, and there we go. So cute, right? It just fancies up the inside a little bit, just a little bit, takes it up a notch, and then you don't have to write as much either. <laughs> do you guys do that when you have to write something in a card? Oh, it's very like, oh, what, how do I fill up all that paper? There we have it. Done. It worked out. It may have been a crazy card, but it worked out. I hope you guys like that. Shakers are easy. They're fancy, but they're easy. Especially when you use these adhesive strips. I think I put these on the supply list for you. Did I list those? Um... I did, adhesive strips, number 141825. And you get two strips, and they go a long way. You get a lot. All right, one more project. I've got 10 minutes. I can't even remember what the project is, but I think I think I can get it done. Actually, Addie is a safety patrol at school, so I don't have to get her until 3.15. So I have a little bit of extra time today. A little safety patrol. All right, next up, let's see, I can't remember. Oh yes, I do love this card and it is very easy. Now, you guys, um, Paper Pumpkin, last week, I showed you this month's Paper Pumpkin and I said I had extras and I sold all of them like in seven minutes. Um, <laughs> you guys need to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, it's so awesome. Um, 
And like we just mentioned earlier, that uh, February's Paper Pumpkin is going to be birthday themed. It's going to coordinate with that happy birthday to you and the birthday dies and it's going to be awesome. So this month it coordinated somewhat, is that a word coordinated? It coordinates somewhat with a honeybee um, bundle and, and the Valentine's bundle. You'll see that this stamp right here, ooh, it's got something gunky on it. That's weird. What is that? Anyway, this stamp right here coordinates with our punch that we used earlier. So I'm going to pull that out. We're going to need that. Um, there is a bee in here, but it doesn't coordinate with the honeybee dye. I thought it would, but it doesn't. Um, and then there's other sayings and stuff too. All right. Now this one just says with love. It doesn't even say um, happy Valentine's Day. So you don't need to change this at all. And you're going to get... Um, you know, different uses out of it. All right, so I'm gonna use this stamp right here, this like uh, background stamp and the heart. Um, now, if you didn't get the paper pumpkin, there are no extras. There's only refill kits for subscribers. Um, but this stamp set could be easily adapted without that, okay? You um, don't have to, you could use the other outline heart over on um, the heartfelt stamp set and you could use any background stamp on your red hearts. Okay, so don't cry if you didn't get it. You can still make this card. But I like to have other ideas. Oh, look, I didn't even notice there's a scallop stamp. That's so cute. I like to, to keep my paper pumpkin stamp set out to remind me that it's, you know, I need to use it. It's so cute. All right. Use it beyond um, beyond the paper pumpkin kit. It's a, it's a pretty good value, you know because then you have a stamp set that lasts forever. All right, let's do this heart. I'm going to emboss it in gold. I'm rubbing my paper with an embossing buddy and embossing buddy removes um, static. And so when you stamp your image and you sprinkle all your gold powder on there, um, hopefully, because you've removed that static, the gold powder will only stick to the ink that it's supposed to. Now I have my embossing powder in one of these little, it's just a little sandwich snack container from TJ Maxx. They also have them at Target, in case you guys were wondering. And this is just the little pot that it comes in. All right, look at that, perfect. All right, so now close that up. And my heat tool is right here. We're gonna hit it with a heat tool until it gets nice and shiny. Lisa, I'm glad I'm cracking you up. I'm gonna lay in bed tonight and think about what a disaster today's Facebook Friday was. <laughs> uh, that's all right. It's live. That's what happens when, when you're live. Weird, wonky things happen. That's the second time my, my phone has popped off the holder. One time it was I think maybe during a bingo or something. Um, it wasn't on, it was, it was live, I think, but I don't think it was during a Facebook live. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Thanks, Jane. I'm glad you like the cards. I appreciate that. All right, let's, you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna let that sit. It's dry, but sometimes a little bit soft and I don't want to mess it up when I put it through that punch. So let's do this first. Real red ink on real red cardstock. We're gonna stamp this. Thanks for sharing, Peggy. I appreciate that. Stamp that right there. Okay. And stamp this one right here. And I'm rubbing it so that it's stamped because I did not get my foam mat out. It worked. All right, now we will stamp two of these hearts with the solid heart punch. Then I think we're good to go with this. I'm going to slide it in. You slide it in backwards like this, upside down. You can see exactly what you're punching. Okay, now I'm going to get the scalloped heart, the other half of the punch pack, and we're going to punch a scalloped heart. Oh, you know what? I should have stamped the B while I had all that out. Goodness gracious. We got to do the B. So we've got all those pieces. Let's do the B real quick. Get your embossing buddy out again and rub it on your black cardstock. 
Then get your B stamp from the Honey Bee Bundle. That's the class I showed you at the beginning of Facebook Friday. Stamp it in verse mark. Sprinkle it with gold. I should have done all of this at the same time. Hmm. I can't tell. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. All right. Heat tool back out. A little golden honeybee. Hi, Karen. Balmy day in Iowa. What does that what does that mean? What what do you consider a balmy day in Iowa? I bet your balmy day is a freezing frozen day down here in South Texas. <laughs> okay, where are the honeybee dies? They are right here. Pull off this matching die. See right here, we've got a coordinating die. And move, move, move. Everything out of the way. Um, let's put this on our die cut machine. And uh-oh, I hear the dogs barking. I wonder if my dogs can hear the outside dogs from where they are. Hi, Mom. I'm glad you like the bees. They are cute. All right, and put that back so that I don't lose it. And now we can assemble with lots of dimensionals. Shocker, I know. <clears throat> Whisper white card base, okay? And basic black. You'll notice that this is one of those cards again that has a fold on the side, but we're gonna put it up top like that so it opens like that, all right? Um, Lisa, you said, you like the wide containers better than storing the pods. Um, you know why I like that, Lisa? Because then you just have a built-in little tray to sprinkle things over and in. Um, I do like it. And I, and I have combined probably two pots of embossing powder in here. Um, yeah, I, I, I do. I do like it. I, I have um, a tray or I had a tray um, to sprinkle all in, but I don't use it anymore because I just have them in that, those little containers. All right, look, it's our Golden Honey Designer Series paper again, my favorite pattern. Karen says, we have light snow. Okay. And that's a balmy day, Karen. Deb says balmy 33 in Iowa. Ladies, 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 ladies. A balmy day here is 80 in the winter. I know that's, I would like to have some cold weather. We have had no cold weather this year, hardly at all. But I'm glad you're feeling warm. It's funny how, you know, when you have had such cold weather for so long, what feels warm to you? Raining in Washington, Jen. Well, that's pretty normal for you guys, isn't it? All right, I'm putting these two hearts like that. Oh, hello, let's make them the same. You can use the lines on the designer series paper to line them up and make them equal. Then I'm gonna get crazy. Watch this, two stacked dimensionals so that it's a little bit higher. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? You don't have to do that, but you can. And let's do this one on here. Isn't that beautiful? Gold on gold. I just love that. Oh, hot and sunny in Hawaii. Lucky. I'm going to Hawaii in July. I can't wait. All right, we've got that in the middle. And now our honeybee with, yes, another dimensional. All right, and let's put our bee right here. All right, now you could leave well enough alone, but come on, we have red rhinestones. Let's add some red rhinestones, right? And we'll go with an odd number, because that's what they say. I don't know who they are, but that's what they say. Work in odds, it's more pleasing to the eye. And done, so cute. Now you could take that, um, oh, it's buried over here now, that paper pumpkin stamp set and take that bee and maybe the flowers and do a little bit, little bit of stamping on the inside. Look at the sentiments, let's be friends. Wishing you a lifetime of love, there you go, wedding card. Handmade, and what does this one say? Be mine, 
So cute. Oh, I like the thank you also. All right, there you have it. Another use for your paper pumpkin stamp set this month. And you could change up the colors, right? You could do Coastal Cabana, you could do yellow, um, you could do purple. So it doesn't have to be red, it doesn't have to be Valentine's. We survived. You guys, we made it. It's three o'clock on the dot. I always think I'm gonna be late and then I get done exactly when I'm supposed to get done. Here's what we did today. Three Valentine slash love cards. Um, if you would like me to send you three make and takes, these three for free, make sure you get a $35 minimum order in by Monday at midnight using that host code. You can order anything you want. It doesn't have to be what I used. And if your order is over $150, don't use that host code because you're gonna earn Stampin' Rewards and I want you to get those Stampin' Rewards and I will still send you these for free, okay? Because I will see your order. Okay, you guys, remember, mark your calendars next Tuesday at noon, I'll be live. And I'm gonna be live, not here in the group, but I'm gonna be live over on Pink Buckaroo Designs Facebook business page. And we're gonna play around with the new coordination products, okay? Um, and then next Friday at two o'clock, I'll be back here and we're gonna do the little someone special, the little raccoon and squirrel, okay? You guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoy that balmy weather up there in Iowa and uh, have fun at the Super Bowl, watching the Super Bowl. You guys, I'll talk to you on Tuesday. See you at noon on Tuesday. Bye guys.